losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back Honor 90 GT, a power pack phone, just launched before few days ago. Fast refresh rate OLED display, lightweight in design, flexible great processor, fast charging and many more. Today I'm gonna show you in-depth review of the Honor 90 GT Racing Edition. Hey guys, Mikey from Tech Mikey. Please consider subscribing, turning on the notification by hitting that bell icon for more amazing tech videos. The phone design features a right angle bezel around the screen for a clean look. The display is flat, providing an excellent gaming experience. The available colors are classic gold, black and GT blue which comes in a plain leather material. The back of the phone has a two racing car inspired strips, giving it a unique touch. The camera module is not too protruding. It's a simple and blends well with the overall simple look of the phone. This phone is not just light at 185 grams, but also slim, measuring 7.9 mm in the thickness. In this category, compared to other phones, Honor 90 GT being so lightweight and thin, it's important that it has a good system to keep it cool when it's used. Talking about the performance of the Honor 90 GT, it comes with a previous generation top-notch processor, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. The base version includes the 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, and it's got an independent display chip called the C1. The Honor 90 GT has some impressive features for gaming. When playing games like King of Glory, it can reach an average frame rate of 119 FPS at max maximum setting of 120 fps. It means you almost get a full frame rate experience, which is fantastic for gaming. The power consumption while playing the average around 4.5 watts. Plus, there is a sidebar available for game enhancement when you can tweak the setting to boost the frame rate for a smooth gaming experience. The Honor 90 GT has a cool feature where you can look the games at 60 fps for smoother play and less power use. When you play at 60 fps, the average power used to drop to around 3.3 watts, which saves about 1 watt compared to higher frame rate. This helps to reduce the battery drain. According to their slogan in Chinese, they claim to offer a performance like Thanos. Now let's put this phone to the extreme test by keeping the 10 commonly used app running in the background. This time testing the Jensen Impact for 60 minutes at 60 fps with the Ultra HD Plus setting, the average frame rate that got was around 59.9 fps almost reaching the full frame rate, which is great. The average power used during this was around 5.5 watts. Jensen Impact also supports a feature called the Super Frame. When enabled, allow you to lock the game at 40 frames per second. Even in Super Frame mode, the game runs smoothly at 120 FPS. In this mode, where the average frame rate is locked at 40 into 3 FPS, which equals to 120 FPS, the game runs super smooth maintaining that high frame rates. The average power use here is around 4.3 watts. Although the power consumption is a bit more compared to the King of Glory, Jensen Impact is a heavier game. Moreover, in this mode, you can turn on the image quality enhancement function, enhancing the visual experience. The game resolution also gets a push to 1080p, making the picture quality sharper. You can compare the picture quality before and after applying these settings. It's surprising because previously high performance phones were never this lightweight. But here, not only do you get high performance but also excellent picture quality in the light package, which is unexpected. Let's push it a bit further with the Star Iron game. Usually Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 gives an average frame rate of around 50 FPS in this game. But in the Honor 90 GT, after playing for 20 minutes at 60 FPS, the average frame rate reaches about 53.9 FPS. We can say that compared to the regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 phones, the Honor 90 GT offers a better performance. Also, this phone comes with a self-developed C1 enhancement display chip. Talking about the display on the Honor 90 GT, it's a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus display with a resolution of 1200 by 2664 pixels. It can reach a global brightness of up to 1200 nits and a peak brightness of 2600 nits, which is really bright. Plus, it has a refresh rate of 120Hz for the smoother visuals. The Honor 90 GT comes with a Oasis eye protection screen that is designed to be gentle on your eyes. It includes a 3840 ultra high frequency PWM dimming feature to reduce the flickering and has certifications for flicker free display from TUV Rangland. It supports a natural light like eye protection and has a 360 degree adaptive dimming feature. You can also turn on the Sleep 8 display in this setting for the better sleep. Additionally, the phone adjusts its temperature automatically based on the sunlight which is a pretty neat. Talking about the camera on the Honor 90 GT, it has a main 50 megapixel Sony IMX 906 camera with a sensor size of 1 by 1.56 inches. The main camera also features a dual stabilization, both optical image stabilization and electronic image stabilization. Additionally, there is a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. You can check out the sample photos taken with this camera to get an idea for their quality. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
When it comes to the operating system, the Honor 90 GT runs on Magic OS 7.2, which is based on Android 13. This OS includes the several smart features that enhance the overall experience of using the phone. The Honor 90 GT comes with a sizable 5000mAh battery, which is impressive considering the phone's lightweight design. It supports the 100W fast charging, allowing the battery to go from 3% to 100% in approximately 32 minutes. Moreover, it also supports the PD charging, so you can use any PD charger to juice up the phone. Talking about the price, the base variant start at around 2,599 Chinese Yuan, which converts to around 290 pound in the UK. In conclusion, the Honor 90 GT offers the super performance making it a great choice for gaming and through. The display is fantastic, it's a lightweight and considering its performance, the price is quite affordable. Now we will have to see that what price it launched in the UK. So what do you guys think about it? Tell us your thought in the comment section below if you have any question. Also give this video a thumbs up and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. We'll be signing off. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep smiling and I will see you in the next one. Plastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it and I know of sadness, the anxious in panic, the infinite vastness of all that is blackness.